Hello Python programmers, so in this video, we'll discuss how to create a chat GPT GUI program using Python and OpenAI API. Now the aim of this program is very simple. We have a GUI. Now why am I actually telling you? Let me show you real quick that uh, what this program is all about. So Python program dot py. Okay, so this is our GUI. This is the entry space. You have to uh, ask your question here. Uh, let me ask a very simple question. Suggest me a good book for data uh, structure. Uh, suggest me a good book for data structure. Let me click send. It will just take a few seconds and here you can see. Okay. So this is the book that chat GPT has recommended me. Okay. So yeah. Now you know that what we are going to create in this video, we'll use the open AI API for this. So let's quickly set up things and get started with this program. Okay. So before you start writing this program, you have to install a few things and you have to set up a few things. Okay. Uh, first of all, you have to install the open AI package for this. You need to, uh, install this package from here. This is the PyPy page for the uh, open AI. So pip install open AI press enter and this package will be installed for you. It may take some time. It totally depends on your internet speed. But yeah, you have to install this package and uh, Kinta comes pre-install you. So uh, you don't have to install that. So yeah, this is the uh, installation part. Then what you have to do is you have to go to uh, this uh, open AI website all the links will be provided in the description so you can check out from there so uh, yeah you have to go to open AI website then click on this API button this will be your uh, landing page click on sign up uh, now you can either sign up with your gmail account or you can enter your mail id and password okay then after you have sorry after you have logged in you have to go to the setting section okay uh, you have to go here just click on the uh, icon on the right hand side of your screen and view API keys okay this page will pop up go to the API key option and you will get your API key okay now I am not showing my API key because it's confidential and I don't want the entire internet to know my api key okay so now you are all set up and uh, let's go to our editor and start writing a code okay so now we are into our editor let me quickly close this uh, python program it is actually for another video so first of all let me quickly import all the packages required okay so we don't need many we only need kinter kinter is required to create the gui and then open ai okay so uh, let's get started with Kinter. Let's create uh, the TK instance. Uh, TK instance. Then we'll define that what will be the geometry. Geometry. Uh, this is basically the size of our Kinter GUI. Now you can experiment with these values if you want. But for my design, this is the height and width. Then do.config. Sorry, config. Uh, we want to configure the background color or we want to change the background color to white. Then here you have to write your open AI API key. Okay. Open AI dot API key and then write your uh, API key as a string over here. Okay. Then you have to select a model. Okay. So we have different models for uh, OpenAI. Let me show you real quick. So yeah, these are the four available models. You can check from their uh, website. This is the most uh, effective one or we can say this is the most uh, up to date one. As you can see from the description only, it is the most capable one. Okay, so uh, we are using text DaVinci 03. You can use any of these uh, models over here but i am using text davinci 03 okay so uh, model engine model engine is what text davinci 03 okay then what we have to do is we have to create the kinder gui now 
I have already created this GUI for one of my previous uh, project, which was a chat application using Python. If you want, you can check that out. So uh, what I'll do is I'll copy paste the code over here and uh, focus on explaining you that how everything is working. Okay. So uh, first of all, we want three components. Okay. First is the uh, entry widget where the user enters the question. Second is the button, the send button. And third is the space, the uh, list field where the question and the answer shows up. Okay. So uh, this is your entry widget, the uh, message variable. This is your entry widget. The data will be stored in this message variable. It's a string variable. Okay. So uh, message box is a entry widget. First parameter is root, then the text variable is message, this variable over here. The font that will be present inside this entry widget is Calibrim. You can change uh, the font. Uh, the size is 18 and it's normal. It's not bold or italic. It's normal. Okay. The border of the entry widget is 2 and the width of the entry widget is 22. Once again, sorry, 32. Once again, you can play along with these values as you want okay uh, then we are placing this message box at x axis 10 and y axis 444 this is the position at which we are placing a message box okay then the second widget is a send button so uh, first of all we have to use the photo image class to load the send.png this is uh, the image let me show you real quick uh, yeah this is the image that we are using. So uh, I'll provide you all the links uh, in the description. You can get that uh, PNG from there. Okay. It will be a GitHub link or the link to my website. You can just check from there. Okay. Point is you will get the image files. Okay. And also the source code will also be present there. But make sure that you uh, understand how the code works. Then you can go and copy paste from there. Okay. I'm not saying don't copy and paste, but first understand that how the program is working so that if you get any error, you can understand that what that error means and why you are getting that error. Otherwise, you would just copy paste the error in the comment section and that's useless. It will waste my time reading it and your time pasting it there and waiting for my response because I won't respond to that message. Okay, I'm being very clear. Anyways, let's get back to our uh, program. Okay, so uh, we are loading this uh, send.png image using the photo uh, photo image class from our Kinter. Okay, and the data is uh, stored in this send message img. Then we are creating a button on the root. This is the uh, Kinter instance. Then the image is send message image. The command that this button will trigger is response. We'll be creating that uh, function in just a minute. Then the border width. Okay. The border width of this button is uh, zero. We don't want any border width. Okay. Then we are placing this send button at uh, X is equal to 260 and Y is equal to 440. Okay. Uh, then what we have the last uh, widget on our GUI is a list box. List box is the place where the... Uh, question and the answer both will be printed so uh, it's a list box and uh, obviously it's on root the height of the list box is 20 and the width is 43 okay we are placing the list box at uh, x is equal to 15 and y is equal to 80 okay uh, i don't know what uh, this command is doing over here we don't really need this command uh, I guess it's from my previous project. Yeah, you don't need to write this. Okay. So, uh, okay. Now we have our GUI and this button is triggering some response function. Okay. So let's, uh, let's create this, uh, response function real quick. Okay. Uh, so def response and, uh, we don't have any parameters over here. Uh, message is equal to uh, message box dot get so uh, basically what we are doing here is we are extracting the data which is entered in our entry widget as you can see message box is the uh, variable of entry widget so we are extracting the data inside that uh, entry widget okay uh, then first of all 
we are inserting the question uh, dot uh, dot insert we are inserting the question that user has just uh, entered so at 08th uh, index actually it's a list box so we have to define that what uh, index is specified for that text so at uh, 08th index uh, u means the user has entered uh, then we have to write the image uh, sorry the message okay message is uh, the text that user has just entered okay uh, then what we'll do is uh, we'll create another variable answer and what is this answer doing here it's using open ai dot completion make sure that this c is capital i made it small over here but uh, this needs to be capital completion dot uh, create and uh, it takes multiple uh, parameters over here i am only writing those parameters that are sufficient once again you can go to the website of open ai slash api to check all the parameters i am writing only those that are sufficient okay basically sky is the limit you can uh, explore it i am pretty sure you must have explored uh, open ai before me i am very late to this uh, open ai train actually i was busy on some other projects which you will get to know in a few days okay so uh, let me quickly explain you that what is happening here so uh, this open ai dot completion dot create command takes uh, the following parameters first is the engine the model the ai model that we are using so we are using this ai model instead of creating variable you can just write the ai model over here it's on you uh, prompt is actually the question or the text that you want to ask to your ai okay so uh, these are the compulsory commands okay there are some other parameters also that you can check on the official open ai slash api page okay but these are sufficient then message is equal to uh, answer sorry answer dot choice uh, choices at the index zero dot text okay basically it returns a bunch of data and we are only interested in the answer of that uh, question so yeah then the last thing left is uh, first to print so that we can check on the terminal also that what that uh, answer is message and then we have to uh, insert the data inside our list box okay so we are inserting a message okay message and who is saying this it's chatbot saying okay uh, so everything looks good yeah everything looks good let me quickly save and run oh everything does look good so let's try it. recommend it's a subject of computer science okay uh insert index okay so we are having some problem over here int attribute has uh, sorry int object has no attribute tk okay oh boy this is not list box this is not the uh, class instance uh, we actually want the variable name now what was the variable name yeah lstbx lstbx this is why people use simple variable names this is the reason why so yeah now everything looks good maybe is my spelling correct let me copy it so uh, if there is some more error then i have then i don't have to uh, write it again okay so we are having uh, another error okay so i haven't written the api just give me a second just uh, just let me copy paste the api over here okay so i have written the api let me quickly run it again and uh, i have to write the question again fingers crossed let's see uh nope 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 uh okay so uh it's not 
text buddy uh, sorry it's not test it's text okay so uh, once again oh finally so uh, it's finally working and uh, i don't know if it's the best book for digital logic i guess morris mano book was very good but i don't know the thing here is our program is working and it's giving me the answer okay so yeah this was it but before you go i have a assignment for you now if you look at this program there is one problem or there is one bug that you have to solve okay so the width okay the width of this list box is of 40 alphabets okay i have counted it so the uh, width of this list box is 40 alphabets so anything which is longer than 40 alphabets is not visible in the first sight okay so what you have to do is you have to split the string into 40 40 parts so that they come on different lines okay i guess you are getting my point here like the whole name of book is not visible from here so what you have to do is you have to take this string it's very simple let me uh, explain you what the problem statement is once again okay so the width of this list box is 40 alphabets so you have to divide the string into 40 40 alphabet sections so that the each section appears on a different line so that the whole statement the whole string the whole answer is visible in one side okay do that part and comment down the answer and whoever does first their answer will be pinned okay anyways this is me signing out meet you in my next lecture bye bye